With Dragon Ball Super Manga Chapter Number 51 looming over the horizon, we have brand new spoilers for the upcoming manga chapter that not only gives us more information as to what is to be expected following the events of Moro's battle against Goku, Vegeta, and the Daikaiyo, but also goes as far as to shed some light as to what is to be expected as we move ever so closer towards the climax of the Galactic Patrol Prisoner arc along with potentially the conclusion of the Moro arc in the next few months. As as we've come to the ultimate revelation that Vegeta had decided to separate himself with Goku in the previous manga chapter for Dragon Ball Super Manga chapter number 50, but we don't know why Vegeta had decided to go to Planet Yardrad. And with the recent leaks and spoilers for the upcoming manga chapter, we have a little bit of information as to what is to be expected involving Moro's upcoming battle against Vegeta, Goku, and the Daikaiyo coming up next, two in which we are going to be covering the entire Dragon Ball Super Manga chapter number 51 special special on this channel in English, so if you guys are new to the channel then be sure to go on ahead and smash that subscribe button and turn on all notifications by clicking on the bell icon to never miss a single upload, that way you guys can be the first ones to be notified whenever that video is going to be posted onto the channel, and give this video a big thumbs up and slapping that like button down below if you guys are stoked, ready, and excited to find out what happens in this upcoming manga chapter next. So, the early Dragon Ball Super manga chapter number 51 leaks reveal some very interesting information not only on what's going down with Vegeta on planet Yardrad but also potentially involving the Frieza Force. Yes, the Frieza Force as courtesy of Govita XV on Twitter, he went along to post the following and I quote, the apparent chapter 51 leaks. Bulma meets Goku at the Galactic Patrol HQ. Number two, Goku contacts Earth and informs Piccolo about Moro and Namek. Number three, Vegeta comes to Yardrad and sees the Frieza Force killing Yardranians. Number four, Vegeta deals with the Frieza Force, indicating the fact that there could be a direct fight involving Vegeta and the Frieza Force just because Vegeta had now arrived on planet Yardrad, only to find that the Frieza Force are now having to take control in murdering these innocent people, so apparently enough Vegeta intervenes in preventing this from happening. However, there's more. As of course number four, it goes on to state Frieza comes down from his ship to Yardrad to confront Vegeta. With Govita also going on to state, and I quote, This is the leak flying on, wait for some time to confirm it. But then, DBS Chronicles over on Twitter went on to post a link in which these people that do cover the early releases are often those that put out a quick little summary as to what they thought about the manga. As one of the individuals went on to state, and I quote, and again, keep in mind this is Google Translated, Moral's youthful appearance, Vegeta's purpose, Jocko's secrets, Moral's inevitable very Various things such as true purpose, true ability of Maris, etc. are revealed. Moro's female trio is a good character, but I want to know the name. Vegeta son, I want you to stay in mind. So again, these translations are a bit wonky and broken, but it goes on to further let us know that we are going to have some revelation to Moro's youthful appearance, Vegeta's purpose, Jocko's secret, and many other things that apparently happen in this manga chapter. So I am very interested and invested as to what happens, especially with Vegeta having to arrive on planet Yardrad only to find apparently the Frieza force running rampant and killing individuals only for Frieza to later come down from his ship in further confronting Vegeta on being there. So I think personally, that would be a very interesting and good point to sell in the fact that this has been the first time that Vegeta had seen Frieza ever since the battle against Broly. So of course, there's lots of tension. There's lots of animosity between the two. Frieza hates Vegeta. Vegeta hates Frieza. And being that they're here alone, one can only speculate if this ends up being true as to what is being said between both parties. But not only that, a Apparently, we are going to find out Vegeta's purpose as to why he wanted to go to Planet Yardrad, and many other things along with Moro's quote female trio, in which supposedly was something that this individual who saw this manga chapter found to be very good. So if this ends up being true, then we are going to have somewhat of a confrontation between Vegeta and Frieza, and along with Vegeta and the Frieza Force. So one must also beg the question as to what exactly the Frieza Force is doing on Planet Yardrad. Maybe this has to do with the original plan from Dragon Ball Z when Frieza wanted to originally go to the Yardrad planet, but by sending the Ginyu Force there, originally he called them back because he needed them
them on Namek, so that's a pretty cool thing in seeing somewhat of a confrontation between Vegeta and Frieza. I really doubt that they're going to fight, but words are going to be exchanged. And on top of that, what I really do enjoy, if this ends up being true, is Goku contacting the Earth and informing Piccolo about what Moro had done on planet Namek, so I think this is a very good thing to see because it'll finally give some spotlight to Piccolo in which that would make the most sense considering the fact that his home was actually just destroyed by this energy draining planet eating maniac and I would love it nothing more than to see Piccolo actually aid Goku and the Daikaio in this situation because we've talked about this many times before in the fact that Vegeta could have his spotlight and big moment in this arc by defeating Moro because there is no other reason as to why Vegeta is on planet Yardrat other than gaining somewhat of an ability that puts him above Moros. So with that being said, I don't see them ever giving Vegeta somewhat of an ability just to have Moro still body him. So until then, we're going to have to wait and see what he's doing there. And if he ends up confronting Frieza, then one must also beg the question, are they going to fight? Is there going to be somewhat of an argument? What exactly is Frieza doing there? And what exactly is his purpose of sending his army to planet Yardrat? Drat. But also to shed some light on Dragon Ball Z Kakarot, we have more information on Dragon Ball Z Kakarot courtesy of Gorish on Twitter as he went along to post and I quote, Dragon Ball Z Kakarot, you will be able to play as Teen Gohan and Trunks in the Cell Saga. Seventeen will make an appearance. There will be an original episode with Gohan and Sixteen. There will be a mini game involving Goku and Piccolo's driving test. As of course he continues, there will be a new character named Banyu, who seems to be from the same planet as Jice and might be a past member of the Ginyu Force. She is a large bust, it seems she was removed from the Ginyu Force due to her pose and not being up to par. So of course with Dragon Ball Z Kakarot we are going to be getting original episodes and from what it looks like mini games involving Goku and Piccolo's driving test which I think still stands the test of time and being one of the absolute greatest moments in Dragon Ball Z. So if you guys are going to be getting Dragon Ball Z Kakarot, then you guys can expect to not only play as Teen Gohan and Trunks, but also get brand new original content that essentially you haven't seen be done before. So in the end, guys, I want to get your thoughts in the comment section below about the whole moral situation and Maris's true power, Jocko's secret, Vegeta's revelation on planet Yardrad, and Goku apparently having to contact Piccolo in letting him know about planet Namek because I think that would be one of the absolute best ways to go in having Goku not only recruit potentially Piccolo, but also maybe Ultimate Gohan, maybe some of the other Z fighters per se, because if Goku really wants a shot in defeating Moro at this point, I think he not only needs the Daikaio by his side, but I think he needs more than just the Daikaio himself. I think that Piccolo, Android 17 maybe, Gohan maybe could be a good addition in this fight considering the fact that Moro has an army and he seems to be getting even stronger than before. So with Moro continuously getting stronger, the question lingers, what is Goku going to do? Again, post your thoughts in the comment section below. Thank you all so much for watching guys. We are going to have more spoilers and leaks tomorrow because with everything having to come out now, we're going to get more information on Dragon Ball Z Kakarot and more importantly, the Dragon Ball Super Manga in which we are going to have the full chapter on this channel within about three to four days. So be sure to be on the lookout for that. Again, thank you all so much for watching. If you guys are stoked, ready, and excited to see Vegeta potentially confront Frieza, to see Frieza in this arc, I think would be a good thing because I'm really curious if Frieza kind of knows about Moro and if he does, does he care? And Goku's essential plan in having to get the job done in this fight against Moro, knowing the fact that he could be potentially coming to Earth, but the fact that he's growing stronger and has a little small army behind him is very alarming and very, very concerning. So again, thank you all so much for your time. Tune back in for more. If you guys are not following me on Twitter, then be sure to follow me on Twitter. Link will be located down below along with my new Discord link. Again, that will be located down below as well. Thank you all so much for your time. Thank you all so much for watching. Tune back in for the next video and I'll be seeing you all down in the comment section below. Have a great day, everybody. Peace. This is the Galactic Emperor of the Universe, and of course I'm here to tell you to subscribe to Unrelent Gaming. Also follow Unrelent Gaming on these social media platforms to stay connected at all times. And if you don't, then very soon you will all be dead!
<laughs> oh, did someone say unrelent gaming? Oh my god. The fuck, Zarbon? Put on some clothes! Well, why don't you put on any clothes? What? I don't need clothes! But, uh, Jesus Christ, that's huge! <laughs> What, Broly? Freezer. Uh-oh. Prepare to die! <laughs> <laughs>